Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be breaking down Goody Cantonetti uh, versus Chris Montino, which Montino, I think that's how you say it, Montino, uh, which we all know him from fighting Sean O'Malley on the show notice, like we had done. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into this, and if you guys are new here, hit that thumbs up button as hard as you can. Again, I am live doing this, so make sure you tune into these live things, they're pretty fun. Um, I enjoy doing them, so let's jump right into it. <clears throat> right into it. Chris Montino, nine and five, two and three out of his last five fights. Oh, Johnny Campbell. Oh. Uh. Yeah, he lost to Sean O'Malley in his most recent fight. He showed a lot of heart, took a lot of punishment in that fight. As it is, 29 years old, 5'7", with a 70-inch reach. Goody, Ninja, Kennedy, 8-6. and six. He's 1-4 in, in his last five fights. Basically a pick'em fight. 42 years old. 5'6", with a 68-inch reach advantage. This is probably going to be one of the only ones that Chris Montino is going to have a reach advantage because he's not a big guy, uh, anything like that. So... Chris Montino, again, we know how good his chin is, even though he has been finished quite a bit in his career. Um, before he went on this two-fight win streak, he had been, been finished two times before that. Um, fighting a guy like uh, Goody Canetti, we know what he's going to do. He's going to want to strike. He has big power, I think, in his left hand. Um, but he is also a pretty good wrestler. His one win uh, three years ago, Diego Rivas, uh, decisioned. And then he lost to Marlon Vera by rear naked choke. A fight I believe he was winning. And then he lost to Bat Guerrero De Dana, Dana uh, by KO left hook. That one was pretty brutal. And then he lost to Mana uh, Martinez decision or split decision six months ago. I thought that he did a lot better in that fight, but he did lose it. So, okay. But I, I <clears throat> this fight is going to be very interesting uh, because can Goody... Gudo, whatever his freaking name is, Kennedy. Can Kennedy dictate the pace? Because he doesn't do well when he's pushed back. But he does a whole lot better when he's able to push the pressure, put the pressure on, push the guy backwards, dictate the pace, be the bully. He's not good as a nail. Um, Chris Montino, where he does better is when he's pushing forward. So there's going to be a clash. And I do think the big power from Kennedy may be a problem for Chris Montino. As long as Chris isn't wild, he doesn't stand there like he did with Sean, a less technical Kennedy isn't really going to make that a whole lot of a, a difference. Um, I do think Kennedy can... Um, He's not the fastest guy, but again, he does hit pretty hard. He can wrestle, but he has also been submitted quite a bit. So I think that is the lead, the uh, the way Chris needs to go in there. He needs to fight the path path to re least. I keep doing that least resistance uh, for Chris Montino. Take him down, uh, get his back, get something, get a rear naked choke or a submission in general. But Kennedy has been finished, I believe, a couple times by a rear naked choke. Um, he does get out point pointed also, um, but I like Chris Montino by decision or submission later in the fight. Um, he will move his record up to 10 and five and Kennedy, you gotta think will be released after this. It'll be eight and seven losing four in a row. Uh, yikes, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always hit that thumbs up button as hard as you can. And hit that subscribe button also as well. You know what it is.